Hey, welcome back to Fit Survive Channel. So what I have here today to show you is the Wazoo Cash Cap. So this is a uh, cap that you can use to carry some EDC gear. And so first thing, I'll go ahead and I'll kind of uh, describe the cap, kind of show you the details about that, and then we'll jump into the actual gear that I chose to carry for this cap. All right, so this is uh, made in the USA. It is a has a ripstop material here, kind of obvious by the, the square patterns you can be seen. So this comes in a couple of different colors. I know they have green, black, of course the tan, uh, and then I think they have like a camo. And it also comes with or without the, the Velcro here for the patch. And this particular model is the updated version. And so the updated version has this high visibility orange uh, mesh on the inside. Then it has this reflective X right here, which like at nighttime, if you set this up, it would draw some attention uh, to that. And also the pockets here uh, close with Velcro. And so that's all part of the, uh, the updated version. All right, on the back is adjusted with this uh, Velcro, which I find really nice. Uh, it's not your standard, like really uh, snaggy Velcro. So I like, like that Velcro they use in the back here. All right, so like I said, it comes with and without the, uh, the Velcro on the front, depending on which way you want. And so the Velcro is the perfect size for a, uh, a horizontal patch here. And one thing I like, one thing I like about it, is that without a patch, it still looks pretty cool with the stitching on the side, they have the logo and stuff, and so it's well, well designed there, in my opinion. All right, so um, this cap costs thirty-eight dollars on Amazon, and so I'll go ahead and let's get into the actual um, gear that I chose to carry. All right, so first of all, what I want to say is that when I set this up, my main goal was to be able to carry some minimum gear without having like really like large bulgy. Uh, obvious pockets and maybe if you look right now uh, you won't really even see you can't even tell that I'm carrying uh, gear in the cap but let's go ahead and I'll show you what I chose to carry so in the front uh, all that I placed here was uh, two band-aids you see here so I've got two band-aids and I chose to put in uh, basically some paper and I'd have some like some merchant numbers on here which of course I removed for the video all right, so some paper and some um, those band-aids. And you'll notice that all the gear I have in here is going to be in Ziploc bags uh, because, of course, wearing a cap, you're going to be sweating. And, of course, <laughs> it'll ruin uh, whatever you have in there if you don't have them in Ziploc bags. All right, so originally I ordered this from Amazon, this little survival card uh, to go with the cap, which, by the way, I was not impressed with this at all. Uh, the knife doesn't even come sharpened. You'd have to take it out and sharpen it. And so that's kind of awkward. But anyways, my thought was to carry this right here on the inside. But actually, uh, if you carry anything like rectangular like that, like be it a credit card or this, whenever you wear it, in which in my hand you can't really tell, but it's, yeah, it's gonna basically like that right there. Whenever you wear it, it'll be real obvious like, hey, you, know, you got something in your cap. And so I, I wasn't too fond of that look. And so I chose not to carry anything large uh, like that in the cap. All right, over here on this side, what I have is some painkillers and I have some camp soap. And so I've showed this before, but the nice thing with the camp soap is that other than its natural purposes of, uh, purpose of being soap, you can also use this as tinder to help you start a fire. It actually lights really quickly, really easily. And the same thing goes with these side pockets. Um, I put some really minimal gear uh, into the pockets um, and so you could fit a whole lot more and depending again on where you're located uh, if fishing is something readily available and it'd be cool to have like a fishing kit in here uh, which again you could easily do without it taking any space like just like a, a hook with maybe a small little lure and some fishing line uh, maybe a floater or something like that all right and this side what I have so I have some um, waterproof matches and a striker for that, for them right there. All right, then I have some Gorilla Tape. And again, you'll notice just a small amount. I uh, did not want anything large or bulky. All right, some Kevlar string and a safety pin. All right, so again, just a really minimal amount of uh, gear in here. And that is literally all that I chose to carry on the inside of the cap. And then the front here in the bill, you have another three pockets. You'll see. Uh, one on either side and this one large one here in the middle So over here 
I chose to carry, uh, this is Sparrow's Mace uh, lock picks. And so basically the nice thing about this is that on one side you have your picks and on the back side you have the tensioner. All right, so for an example, if we set it, if we use this for the tensioner and use the rake. The nice thing about the rake is that, um, especially for like easier locks, it's really easy to kind of just get it by just rocking it up and down and back and forth. You kind of randomly get the pins uh, to set for you. Whereas on more, um, like more complicated locks, you can use this, uh, this pig right here, I go, got that pop. You can use basically this pick and do the, uh, set each pin basically individually. All right, so that is the Sparrow's uh, Mace lock picks. And again, that takes up like almost no space for the two of them. All right, then what we have here is the Night Court. This is the NTK05. And so this is a, a scalpel holder. So the nice thing about this is that whenever the, um, whenever the scalpel gets to be dull, you can basically just pull it off and you can replace that with a number 11 uh, scalpel. And with it being titanium, this literally takes up like no space and super lightweight. All right, and the last thing that I chose to place in here is just some small, some, uh, some cash here. And so with this front large pocket and the bill, you have to have something that will be able to conform to this shape. And so like if you were to try to carry like, let's say, kind of like maybe a small knife or a flashlight in there, uh, it's gonna look really large and bulky. And here's an example of something I said over here before the video. So if you were to carry like a USB A to USB C cable, sure you could fit it in here. Uh, and maybe some people would even like carrying it like that. But for me, it just seems like that, like large bulge right there. I don't know, I just didn't care that much for that. And so I chose not to go with anything super large, uh, bulgy like that. So anyways, that is everything that I put in this uh, Wazoo cash cap. And so let me know what you think about the cap. Uh, let me know what you think about the, the gear that I chose to place inside the cap. And also let me know what would you carry uh, in a cap like this. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.